Hello there everyone, it's Shiny Sparky14 and welcome back to more of the World of Magic. Okay, so last time we got, um, I believe it was sturdy... Wait, yes, yeah, so sturdy leather armor, right? Um, wait, I'm already screwing up, I think it was. This time we're gonna buy these books, though. Um, actually, one book, because we, we already have Bull Rush for free, as you already know. And I'm not gonna be buying Drasnius yet, because I don't even have the skill point for it. I mean, I guess I could buy it, but I'll still just wait for it. You know, I could buy the book and double tap it and just leave it there as the... A black square. But anyways, there's Wild Charge. So now we can activate Bull Rush and Wild Charge. There we go. And now let's go ahead and drag these things. Alright, so that one there, that one there, that one there. And, um... I'm gonna put Bull Rush there. And I'll put a push on the very top. Okay. So there we go. So Bull Rush, let's go ahead and use that. Bull Rush makes you move faster. And yeah, Volume 1, as it says, it makes you move 24% faster. Um, yeah, so. Pretty good stuff. Good movement speed. I believe you move fast for 15 seconds and the cool, I mean, 15, you move fast for 8 seconds and the cooldown time is 15 seconds. So overall you are moving fast for about half the time of its entire cooldown time. Pretty good. Pretty good stuff. Wild Charge, let's go ahead and use them actually, hold on. Yeah, Wild Charge is basically a lunge move. You lunge at an enemy as you saw right there. And yeah, useful for warriors getting in on their targets. It's more useful for player versus player battles because you know warriors have to attack at close whereas rangers and mages can attack at far so you need moves that can you know home in on your opponent bull rush being one of those moves um wild charge being one of those moves and actually drowsiness is another move that's helpful because it slows down the opponent so actually all three of the level 10 skills are good for approaching enemies you know or yeah just basically getting close to enemies so you can then use other skills to attack. Bull Rush makes you move faster, approach enemies. Wild Charge makes you lunge at the opponent, which basically means, you know, you get close to your enemy. And Drowsiness slows down the enemy so you can get closer to your enemy as well. You know, pretty good stuff, yeah. Okay, but, um, so let's see. As far as Volume 2 books or higher, or higher for these skills goes, um, Drowsiness does not have a Volume 2, at least I don't think it does. Wild Charge Volume 2 is dropped by the uh, Continent Bulldozer or some enemy in the Force of Grey, which I don't know. I forgot which one, like a Red Fox maybe? Maybe, I don't know. Yeah. So it's dropped by those, and it's worth, you know, like about a million at the highest. Maybe like, you know, anywhere from like 700,000 to 800,000. I've seen it for like a million. So yeah, sometimes pretty high up there. Which is why most people don't bother with it until they're very, very high level because it only gives you one more second of faster of cooldown time. So it's not that big a deal. It'll of course it'll of course help, but you know, there are many other skills that are much more useful than, you know, this one to be improved. So you always want to hold off that skill for much, much later. Wild Charge 3 though, that was rel relatively easy to get, but um Unfortunately, it suffers the same problem from Slam and um, Impact Shot, where, you know, the Volume 3 book is pretty cheap, it's easier to get, but the problem is a Volume 2 book, you know, Slam 2, Impact Shot 2, are difficult to get, and because of that, you really rarely see people with Volume 3. Slam, Slam not so much, because, you know, it's a million, not so much, but Impact Shot, that's a very good example. Impact Shot 3 is clustered with them on servers, but the problem is that Volume 2 is a difficult one to get. Um, and then the final move, Bull Rush. Bull Rush um, is not too difficult to obtain, you know, it doesn't cost too much, mainly because it's farmed, or I mean not farmed. Bull Rush 2 is dropped by the boss um, that's pretty much the most common, the you know fastest respawn time out of any other boss, boss, not mini boss, boss in the game. Yeah, it's Bulldozer and Bulldozer's brother. Their respawn time is, I believe, 15 minutes. And because two of them always spawn in the forest, you know, the woody weedy forest or woody wordy forest, um, it's not that difficult to get. Yes, the, the chance is, you know, rare to rare drop, but compared to any other boss, it's relatively easier to farm those bosses than other bosses. Not only that, but remember that there's actually two in woody weedy forest and two in woody weedy forest. Wait, did I say weedy twice? Whatever. There's one in Weedy and one in Wordy. Overall, there's going to be four bulldozers. I mean, four. Two bulldozers and two bull bulldozers brothers. Bulldozers brother in the entire world. So, yeah. Um, 
many more bosses for that, but, which is why Blow Rush 2 is not worth too much, you know, it can be worth like, you know, up to 200,000 or so, but I've seen it as low as like 140 to 150,000, yeah. Bull Rush 3 on the other hand, that one can range a lot because that one is dropped by the um, Chief Whoopa Whoopa, which can drop a Chief Whoopa, wait, Chief, what the hell is it called, no, 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 Whoopa Crystal Scale, that's right, yeah. And that one can be exchanged to a Sham and Tunga for Bull Rush Volume 3, so yeah, pretty good. Um, the problem is that that book does range a lot because just like Weakness and Teleport Volume 3, for example, Weakness Weakness Volume 3 and Wadonka, it's worth very little, you know? It, it's been selling for 60000 or even less, which is, yeah, very, very little. Very little amount of money. Um, but on some servers, it's worth well over 300000 Weakness 3. The same applies for Bull Rush 3 and Teleport 3. They range a lot. Teleport 3 is a more garbage one because people don't really tend to upgrade that one to Volume 3, you know, the skill Teleport. Because they don't see it as a necessity. But Bull Rush, you know, it's a very common move, but again, it does range a lot depending on how just how often it drops. Eventually there could be a flood of them, or eventually not. Yeah. So that's pretty much about the skills, the level 10 skills of a warrior. Pretty useful stuff, but more so for player killing. However, when we reach level 15, we will be getting access to a very, very useful combination of skills. Three very amazing skills. Rage, Slam, and Toughness. All three of those skills are very useful. Yeah. But unfortunately, we are five levels away. The good thing is that at this, at this point, it does not take too long to be leveling up. It really doesn't. Um, okay, so, well, he just got killed. High level red name. Okay. So, yeah, you know, killing here just a bunch of red crabs and stuff, as you already know. The usual stuff that we do. Nothing... Well, I mean, the usual stuff compared to the last playthrough, but in this video, we haven't actually... In this video. This playthrough, we haven't actually done this because we've only been to the beach, you know, in the last episode, in the last few minutes, or more, more like the last 30 seconds or so, you know. But we haven't really trained here. Yeah, red crabs are always easy to fight, you know, just because... They're non-hostile, so you can always just, you know, focus on attacking you want. It doesn't matter if other red crabs are nearby because they won't attack you, only that one. Pretty good stuff. The problem is right now, though, is that I'm out of potions, yeah. Pretty big problem because I really need to start, you know, yeah, healing because I know my, my health will eventually go down. It will. Yeah, kind of a problem. All right. Let's just hope that they, like, miss a good amount or do low damage, also. Most likely that will not be the case. Alrighty. And... Um, there you go, alright. Another dead red crab. Okay. Another good thing about Wild Charge, I should say, it gives you a free attack. I know I've mentioned this before in the past, but, um... It gives you a free attack, and it costs nothing. I mean, it has its cooldown time, but basically whenever its cooldown time is over, go ahead and use it. It's a free attack. Yes, it's a weak attack, but it gives you a free 0.5 crit. Oh my god. Whew. Man. Three health. Oh man. You know what? I need to kill this red crab and then go up. Like, seriously. Alright, I think I should lunge at it now. Um. There we go. Okay. And you're dead. I need to go up and get some more potions, man, but, but I, I am going to cut because I don't want to show that. Okay. Well, I spent a considerable amount of time trying to get that, but guess what? Oh, no potions dropping. You can see how much progress I made. I killed like a good amount of spiders because I think it was like 21% or something. They didn't drop, but the good thing is that my health did heal over time because the poisonous spiders were, you know, kind of missing a lot, so eventually my health did heal back, but of course now it's dropping again, this is kind of a freaking problem. All I know is that I, I, I need to farm for some potions, some lesser restoration potions in between videos because I need to, you know, be, be doing that, you know, be using them in a recording because I don't want to keep wasting time and cutting during a recording. I need to prepare myself, you know? Yeah. Okay, but, but yeah, um, we are in the Island with the lighthouse now. No. Different from the Wingfro Island Beach, but you already knew that. Yeah. 
Okay, there's someone over there farming, but it's not like I'm interested in, you know, whoopas because I'm fighting the right of crabs. The right of crabs. Alright, there's another one dead. See, I'm already down to 25, not 32. 32 HP. I'm down to 32 already. Battle at Windstorm Battlefield. Well, guys, we will actually be um, joining the battlefield in the... I don't know about the next few videos, but um, definitely in one of the next... Uh, like, you know, maybe five or so videos. Yeah, because... Actually, more than that. I'm, I'm actually, wait. Well, maybe five, six videos or so. But yeah, um, before any of you guys tell me, I will be getting a Whoopa Skill Helmet. I know that, okay? So, most likely in the next video, we're going to be getting a Whoopa Skill Helmet. Most likely. Then after that, um, other plans. We do have to actually exchange our heavy leather for um, a pair of leather... Leather shoes and leather gloves are not great, but they serve as a good temporary use, you know, they're good stuff, they really are. Because they're gonna give us one more armor each, and two health each, so in total we're gonna gain two more armor, and four health. Alright, so I'm gonna go back over here to this one, because I just like the beach better. There, there's a lot of crabs there nearby, near the spawn, without a lot of whoopas blocking, so yeah, let's go. But yeah, whoopa skill helmet. Eventually leather gloves and leather shoes. By the time I reach level 11, we could actually get um, a round shield. And we'll of course be joining the battlefield by then. I do eventually have to equip drowsiness. Pro oh my god, there's a boss there. I do have to eventually purchase and equip drowsiness by the time I'm level 11. And I get that skill point. So a lot of work to do. A lot of good stuff to be doing in the next level or so. Good upgrades here and there. So, yeah. Okay, I gotta point this out. There's a boss there. Boss. Boss. There's a boss right there. Uh, people. Well, you guys all look low levels. Well, I, I don't know about... Hmm, well, well... Well, maybe, I don't know. Chief. Whoopa. There we go. Right over there. Oh, no. No, no, no. Damn, damn, damn. I thought it was gonna hit me. Dude, there's a Chief Whoopa Whoop over there. Can you kill this damn thing? Right there. Somebody kill this thing. You know, I'm gonna bring this over here so that th that person with the dongery leaf I can kill it because you know he's level 18 at least, or or you. Okay, you can kill. It. I'm level 10. That thing is four levels ahead of me, and I have no hit rate. I can't kill it at all. Plus, there's a boss that's gonna have a lot of health. It'll kill me before I get to attack it. Okay. Stop. <laughs> oh, people with the. Uh, well, well, the, the thing is, I wasn't paying attention to see who attacked the first and all, but it looks like none of them can actually kill it quickly, so they might need the combined effort to... Okay, well, there we go. Hey, I dropped a bag. Okay. Well, there you go. Stop. Oh, God. Well, um, yeah. Alright, so I'm going to part right here. Next time, we're probably going to get a Whoopa skill helmet or some leather gloves, leather shoes, whatever. Something. So, whatever. Goodbye, everybody, and until next time.